Ciao guys, Trevoud here. So it's finally here. We're talking about the last update for the Pi 2 software, the software for the Pi Max 5K Plus and 8K that allowed finally to add the Brain Warp, the new reproduction technology from Pi Max and also the fixed fiber rendering. So in this video, we're gonna get through it and see why it's so important for Pi Max right now. Let's get to it. Okay, so Pimax released the software I need to read 1.0.1.103 beta test that is actually, of course, a beta. So there's a lot of things to improve still. There's going to be a lot of glitches, a lot of stuff to correct. And that's why they really need the feedback for everybody that has already the headset to, of course, make it better and better. But what is this brain work technology? How does it work? Well, the Brain Warp technology is pretty much the same of the asynchronous space warp that we have on the Oculus Rift, the motion smoothing that we have on Steam VR, and the motion reprojection that we have on Windows Mixed Reality. All this technology, they allow our PC to just render half of the frame because they create a synthesized frame in the middle of between the, the two pixels that are rendered directly from the GPU to make a the workload for the GPU much less and easier to run every game. Now, how do they create this frame? Actually seeing the movement of the app and because of the movement, understanding, trying to predict the, of course, the next frame that is gonna happen. Now, this is not a science, so many times there are gonna be artifacts and everything. Oculus is already working on the asynchronous space works too. This is gonna to take care not just of the movement of your head, but also on the sense of depth that is very, very needed because many times there are many artifacts over there. But I have to say that having a first iteration, even just with the movement or just with so with all the other like companies out there is just great and is very needed for the Pimax 5K and the Pimax 8K because here we're running so, so many more pixels and is much harder on the GPU than all the others. Because if we needed that on like the Oculus Rift with the 1200p display or on the Vive, well, imagine when we're talking about 2560 by 1440 in resolution, each eye that is like an amount of pixel that is insane. And so of course, a lot of GPU is needed. That's why a 1080 for a Pimax 5K Plus now is really like struggling. And with a brain work instead, you're gonna be able to play at 45 frames per second every game feeling very similar to the night frame per second. Now, is this perfect? No, it's still a beta, but it's never gonna be perfect, but it's an option that you have, of course, and it makes it easier to use, like it was easier with the Oculus, it's easier with the Vive, it was easier with this, the Windows Mixed Reality. Now, to install it's super easy anyway, I'm gonna leave the link below, so if you already have the Pimax, you can try it out. I tried it with different games, I tried it with Onwards, and tried it with uh, Assetto Corsa and War Dust, and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed, like, with onwards were really amazing. Everything was running very smooth, smooth, no ghosting, nothing. It was really running like it was 90 frames per second, but I was checking with FPS VR to see what I was running into it and was this 45 frames per second. Now, everything was very, very smooth, but when I was opening the dashboard and trying to move the FPS VR uh, dashboard in front of me, well, there I was seeing some ghosting, but it wasn't really a problem in the game. So I'm really, really impressed because there was working really, really well. Instead on War Dust, everything was stuttering a lot and it was really unplayable with it. So I had to take it out. And also weirdly in a Steam VR dashboard, everything is very, very stuttering even when you move your head instead when you are in the Steam VR home, everything was super smooth. So it really depends on the application right now. And of course it's a beta. So the best thing you have to do, you, we can do is just give feedback to Pimax on every single thing to make them aware of how to connect, how to correct everything. Uh, another case was uh, during my Steam VR dashboard, there was a little flickering in the middle of the vision, very, very annoying. And so I hope I'm gonna write on the forum. But so far I have to say that I'm very, very impressed. And they went even further because they didn't just give the option of the frame warp, but they also gave the option to like target different frame rates. So now with the option, you're gonna be able to target the 90 FPS, you're gonna be able to target the 72 FPS that is very, very needed and very nice to have it. When you watch movie, usually these are recorded at 24 frames per second. That's how usually movie are recorded. And so there's a multiplier. So everything will run 
and see very very smooth and perfect for the frame rate without like missing frame in the thing and also there is the 60 fps option now i don't really need that i don't know why it's there but of course like something nice to have as well if you have a 60 fps video maybe uh, you want that as well now another thing that is very very interesting and actually i couldn't try because i don't have an rtx graphic card is the fix forever rendering so what they are doing actually they are decreasing in this way the resolution of the parts like in the fov the external part over 110 120 degrees where of course the image is not clear anymore because of a little lens distortion and we talk in the video about the video that's going to be in the description below and in the card over here anyway if you want to check it out well what happened there is like in those sections in the vision you're not going to be able to read anyway everything is going to be a kind of blur so it's not like a perfect vision anyway if you want to read something there you always have to turn your head around it's not enough to turn just your eye because it will not work and so what they are doing are decreasing the resolution of those parts in the way to make it even easier for the gpu if you are an rtx to render all the resolution that there is in the scene so you're not gonna have to render all of it because if it's blur doesn't matter if it has re less resolution it's gonna be blur anyway so it's a very very smart thing now it's fixed because we don't have any eye tracking yet so it doesn't take advantage of it but it's gonna work in every application without having devs having to work on the codes and everything to make it work it's very very nice right now it's just on the rtx so if you're an rtx card and you have a pimax please let me know in the comment below your feedback is working if it's working well or not i'm really really interested and they said that they're also working to make it possible for the gtx so our old graphic are like the 1080 1080 ti like 1070 and 1060 i don't think it's gonna work anyway all of these is very very interesting because now finally the pimax is getting the game where the software can be ready for actually be for everybody because the problem with the pimax now is that a 1080 is not really powerful enough uh, my 1080 really struggle in many many games and because there's no reprojection option usually you are just with an unacceptable frame rates and what you have to do is to just switch to another headset because it's not playable over there that game now instead with these reprojection option are, are opening a lot of possibility and they keep improving and improving and fit this that's a viable way well they're really gonna open the doors to like all the people with a 1080 or maybe a 1070 that before i will tell like hey stay away for it because like it's not gonna work for you now if this is the way it works if it works like it was working on onward well i'm very very confident it's gonna be great but there's still some problems of course it's still a beta i can't wait to see all the improvement for now i want to say like a great job from pimax and i'm really really happy of this so uh, if you have a pimax really download this software and try it out because you're gonna be uh, very impressed and of course leave the feedbacks because they are always needed anyway guys thanks for watching if you liked the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe to the channel for more about vr and tech see you guys in the next video where actually we're gonna do probably the true the lenses video between the vive the oculus and the pimax so the first generation against this second generation and that's very very interesting because many of you asked for it we're gonna have the vibe with the gear vr lenses so uh, much more clarity but a lot of screen door effect there and then we're gonna see to mix up everything if you want other video i will be happy to work on them as well anyway guys again thanks for watching see you guys in the next video ciao